From the outset, humans have journeyed through nature, on land and sea. The transition from one to the other. Loading, unloading, embarkment, disembarkment. Today, port activity is taking on a new dimension. No longer a port, but a smart corridor. kilometers of fluid traffic, a dynamic artery at the heart of trade, a network of limitless connections from sea to land to sky. It is a path to Europe and to the rest of the world. A single point of contact for customized services to all containers and to all sectors. Here, fresh waters host the longest ships, while the deep seas host the largest ones. An agile interface lets you manage everything, simply and peacefully. A passage to the future, innovative, bold, and integrated within its environment. From the 皆様、本日はお忙しい中ご参加いただきまし very much for participating and thank you for your time. From now on, online seminar and the logistic gateway to Europe Hello Airport will be launched. Business front and Kudan will be serving as the facilitator today and we will carry out for one hour and around 5 p.m. we will be ending the session so you will be provided to Japanese English simultaneous translation so please choose either language on the bottom of the screen and at the end there will be a Q&A session so please let us know if you have any questions at upon that juncture and in advance uh, we have sent some materials however we we'll, would like you to uh, not use it for other purposes thank you first of all First of all, from the ambassador of France to Japan, we'd like to have a video message for introductory remarks. With 1,222 investment projects identified in 2021, an increase of 24% compared to 2020, France is today the most attractive country in Europe for foreign investors. On average, one in five investment projects in Europe now takes place in France. And to date, more than 20,000 foreign companies have already invested in France to benefit from its world-class market and infrastructure. Logistics is an important dimension of international investment. In a globalized economy, international especially in a post-COVID and post-Brexit context, as well as in the light of the Russian aggression against Ukraine. France offers a unique opportunity to meet the needs of companies in this area, especially for Japanese companies setting up in Europe. It is a strategic gateway to Europe but also to the Mediterranean, Africa, and the Middle East. It has a dynamic logistic market that represents 10% of French GDP and generates 200 billion euros in turnover each year. The attractiveness of France is not only the result of the ambitious politics implemented in recent years, but also the result of the activities of French companies that have reached the highest levels of performance. Aropa Port is an example of this in the field of logistics. Aropa Port is the merger of the three ports of Le Havre, Rouen, and Paris. The Seine Axis major river and seaport is today the most dynamic maritime route in the world with its 
500 kilometers of waterways. I am sure that Europa Port and Japanese logistic companies have a lot to learn from each other, and I hope that this webinar will be just the beginning of further exchanges and cooperation. I wish you an excellent webinar, but I would like to add that the French Embassy in Japan and Business France in particular remain at your disposal to assist you in your projects in France. Thank you very much for your attention. Ladies and gentlemen. Next, from Haropa Port, Head of International Development, Mr. Sebastian Roux will talk about the benefits of an import export supply chain via French ports of Haropa. Sebastian, the floor is yours. Thank you, Katsuko, and thank you all for attending this webinar. I'm Sebastian Roux, International Development Manager for Haropa Port, which is a merger entity of the French port of Le Havre, Rouen, and Paris. Aropa Port is located on the Seine River axis, as you can see on the next slide. It's a logistic corridor from the seaports of Le Havre, Rouen, to Paris and beyond. This corridor is linked to Paris Airport, which is Europe's leading freight airport. And it is also linked to Rangis, which is the world's leading fresh food market. In terms of traffic, on the next slide, Aropa Port has achieved over 83 million tons of goods in 2021 and over 3 million TUs. It's the leading port for French foreign trade. More than half of the container traffic is with Asia. And in Japan, half of import and export flows are concentrated with Tokyo and a little more than a quarter with the ancient port complex of Kobe and Osaka. Our offer is based on four pillars. We propose you, as you can see on the next slide, maritime connections, internal services, good transit solutions, and real estate offer. If we start with our maritime offer, next please. Uh, our maritime offer is one of our main assets. Indeed, Aropa Port has excellent nautical conditions. Located at the entry of the North European range, our ports are able to accommodate fully loaded vessels 24 hours a day, seven days a week, without tidal constraints. But above all, we are connected to all the world's market and sourcing areas, with uh, more than 3,500 weekly maritime services to uh, 620 ports, our offer is one of the largest in the world. It also make, uh, uh, makes Aropa like a hub. Lot of many players uh, import from Asia and then re-export their goods to America and Africa. The same performance can be seen on connection between Europe and Japan uh, on the next slide. Antwerp and Felix Sto are usually considered to have the best services, the best maritime connection services. However, Aropa has the best transit time, as you can see on this slide. For example, on import from Japan, it takes 33 days from Osaka to Le Havre compared to 37 days with Antwerp. On the other side, it takes only uh, 31 days on import from Le Havre to Osaka compared to 34 days from Antwerp and 35 days from Felix Stowe. This is not our maritime offer, it's not our only solution. The second part of our offer on the next slide is the possibility for you to deliver quickly and easily a large interland. First of all, by road, Aropa Port has access to the most developed motorway network and the less congested in Europe. This allows you to deliver Europe within one or two days. But you have also the possibility to deliver by rail or by barge on the next slide. The same quality of service can be seen. By rail, you can deliver France in, and you can also connect Italy and Germany. But, uh, and also Switzerland, sorry. And by barge, you can deliver Paris and beyond. The solution, transport solution have three main benefits. 
The first one is that they are cost effective because it's less expensive to use barge or rail for medium and, uh, and long distances. Second, they are reliable thanks to regular schedules of departure and arrivals. You can better plan your logistics. And the third benefit is that they are 100% secured. But above all, these eco-friendly solutions give you access to extensive free storage possibilities by combining free storage solutions on the inland terminals. You can, for example, by using a rail solution, this can reach 40 days if you use a service in, for the inner of France. But uh, last but not least solution to, to, uh, to deliver your Interland on, on the next slide, it's a possibility for you to deliver the United Kingdom by truck by using uh, the daily connection uh, with between Le Havre, a ferry daily connection between Le Havre, Le Havre and Portsmouth. It allows you to have your logistic uh, facilities on Aropa, on Aropa port, and deliver every day on the uh, on UK. The third part of our uh, offer is the facilitation of the cargo transit. Next slide, please. We published every year KPIs, and they allow us to measure the port performance and to see, for example, that custom is not a problem, is a an asset with Aropa, and, and that container leaves the maritime terminal in, in less than six days. These KPIs are available on the internet, on the website of Aropa port. And as uh, customers of Aropa, you can also obtain your own KPIs uh, free of charge on simple request uh, with, uh, with Aropa or Sojet. <clears throat> One point to highlight if we talk about uh, facilitation of the cargo transit and uh, one of the main benefits on the next slide is the safety security. Our port is the first port in Europe to have been certified for its safety security global management. Obviously, zero risk doesn't exist, maybe except in Japan. But we have our own security department and maritime terminals, roads and warehouses are monitored. In case of problem, our agents are able to, re to react in less than five minutes. This is a real asset for you to, today to secure your cargo transit. Other benefits, uh, another point to highlight is that Aropa is committed to sustainable development. We have put in place measures to protect the environment and we are also oriented to new industries like LNG, electrical vehicles. And we are also, as you can see on the next slide, we are also certified for the management of, uh, of uh, the environment in uh, Aropa port. Last part of our offer is the real estate offer, is the four parts of, uh, of uh, Aropa offer. Today, we have a wide, a wide range of land inside the port of Uri, uh, inside Aropa port, or close to our port, in order you to, that allow you to develop your, your logistic facilities or your industrial facilities. This offer is very competitive in terms of price and in terms of possibility. You have land to develop uh, medium or very uh, XXL warehouses. Thank you. Uh, I would like to thank you for your attention and uh, I keep at your disposal for any questions. ありがとうございました。さて、次にフランス税関経済行動部ビジネスアドバイザリーユニットのビジネスアドバイザリーユニット、Tatiana Good afternoon. Um, this is quite an honor to interact with you today. And this is also an honor, an <clears throat> honor excuse me, and that Mr. Rue has uh, mentioned us as an asset. So I'll, I'll try to prove it right yeah, during my presentation. Um, on the first slide, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> first of all, I'd like to underline the fact that French customs foster legitimate business. In that regard, physical inspections are based on risk analysis and only goods with a hit profile are targeted. 
Um, systems for customs clearance are available 24, um, <clears throat> 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So probably you'll be interested to know that in Le Havre, 93% of customs declaration are cleared within less than five minutes. This is, let's say, a steady figures, which appears to be basically the same every year, and which is always slightly higher than the national statistics. <clears throat> to explain this rapidity on the next slide, I'd like to focus on our digital services to explain this uh, rapidity. French customs IT systems are designed to ease operators and customs agents work. For example, for transit, import and export declarations, they are all monitored in a rationalized electronic pack called Delta, which allows a quick access to key information for customs agents. Uh, from the operator's side, they can lodge in events in a declaration up to 30 days before goods arrive, saving up time for other matters on the day of arrival. Um, on the same time, they won't need to show twice the mandatory administrative authorization issued by different administration, special permits, for example, such as uh, licenses to import or export protected species, CITES permits, uh, licenses to export dual use goods or war material or sanitary and phytosanitary products are all lodged in a digital window called GUN and they are automatically cross-checked with the Delta system, which allows good to be quickly released. And uh, this um, digital gun system applies to 15 French administration and 30 different forms. On the same way, um, with our cargo community system, we're trying our best uh, not to lose time on transmitting information from post authorities to customs authorities. Have you heard probably on in Mr. Sebastian Rue's speech, a modern and renewed cargo community system called S1 was launched two years ago. And uh, in this system, customs approval is visible in real time by dock workers who can rapidly exit the containers. So <clears throat> our electronic procedures explain in a way how um, rapidly we can exit the containers. But on the second uh, slide, uh, on the next slide, sorry, I'd like to expose you a little bit more about um, regulatory framework in the European Union and how French customs have translated it into modern procedures. So besides electronic tools, European and French regulatory frameworks both contribute to ease business. On the one hand, the Union Custom Code allows clearance in the company's premises, provided, of course, that they have been previously authorized. In case of scheduled re-exportation or unknown custom procedure, good can be placed under suspensive storage up to 90 days. It is also possible to centralize declarative flows, no matter where the goods are introduced. But, the major assets, to <clears throat> my view, stands in the AEO certification. Uh, when we say AEO, we matter um, authorized economic operator. Uh, that's a program which has been designed by the World Custom Organization and basically provided they meet given criteria, proving their compliance with a secure supply chain. Operators uh, established in the European Union can be exempted from financial guarantees on storage or transit and benefit from reduced physical inspections on their goods. But this is not only Europeans, uh, since that's um, international program. And Japan, as you probably know, <clears throat> uh, had his its own version, which explains that um, an equivalent program being developed in Japan on, in the same time that uh, in the EU led to, in 2010, um, on an agreement on a mutual recognition between Japan and the EU, establishing, for example, that the AEO status from both sides should be um, mutually accepted and that priority treatment on goods from either sides should be granted in case of a major incident 
um, in case of border closure, for example. And from France, um, European regulation has been translated into modern electronic procedures. As Mr. Roux mentioned before, inner transfers from Le Havre, Rouen, and Paris can be managed and surveyed without, within, excuse me, one tool, the Cagoon Community System S1. On a national level also, French import tax system has been totally renewed. Since uh, January the 1st of this year, importers in France won't have to pay off VAT at the time of the import. They'll just have to report it on a global turnover form uh, that we call uh, CA3 in France. And then import VAT uh, will be scaled with other companies' spendings and sales. And the final due amount will be paid at once also. One can note how fast binding information, such as binding tariff and origin information, is delivered. It is issued in maximum 70 days, which is basically half of the legal delay. <clears throat> so this is our, let's say, um, steady measures, but there's a big change um, which appeared last year that I would like to talk to you about on the next slide, which concerns e-commerce procedures. So one of the newest changes in European custom regulation is the new regulation on VAT applying to goods bought online. As a principle, when we say e-commerce, we're talking about goods which are worth no more than uh, 150 euros. In the past, goods not exceeding 22 euro, uh, euros were exempted from VAT. And from <clears throat> last year, it was said that all the goods imported into EU are subject to VAT, no matter their value. Um, and as before, all imported goods should be declared. So a new VAT collection and payment tool was launched within European member states to facilitate and simplify the declaration and payment of VAT for goods sold from a distance by sellers from either the EU or from a non-EU country or territory. And we call this tool the IOSS for import uh, one-stop shop. So basically the principle is that for all the sales sent to EU, marketplace or e-seller registers with French tax administration, collects VAT at the time of the sale online and pays it monthly to French tax authority through the IOSS. So there's a real connection, as you can see, between the EU and third countries. We could say, for example, that this is the future of online businesses, uh, since this uh, interaction between the two parts, EU and third countries, are dematerialized and there's an uh, uh, interconnection between the fiscal systems. And um, apart from this future, I'd like to take a quick retrospective look on a major business agreement, which consolidated by the past in the past business relationship between Japan and the European Union, that you probably know as the EPA, um, and we'll develop this on the next slide. So, as you probably know. This business agreement, also known as the EU-Japan EPA for Economic Partnership Agreement, was signed in 2018 and came into effect on February the 1st of 2019. Basically, it aims at eliminating custom duties from both sides on a schedule varying from 16 years in the European Union to 20 years in Japan. And both schedules are really interesting to have in mind. And uh, by the way, you can consult them uh, in the Annex 2, uh, 2A of the agreement, since they allow a company to decide when to stop it, when to stop into the markets. As a result, 97% um, of custom duties shall be eliminated after those 20 years on goods and services from around 70 areas. And this agreement is also an opportunity to create a platform or a basis on which to cooperate in order to prevent further obstacles to trade. <clears throat> in uh, customs terms, 
uh, I'd like to introduce you to some major notions. Um, uh, the notion of origin, which um, uh, gives um, benefits on custom duties in the sense that a product which is called originating from a party, Japan or the EU, can benefit from reduced custom duties uh, on its arrival in the other party. So <clears throat> to benefit from duties exemption, importers do rely on their providers. In case, for example, that you are an importer, you'll be given two options to prove the origin of your product. Either you can show a statement on origin established by the manufacturer or the exporter, um, saying characters who will be able to prove how origin was obtained by knowing, for example, manufacturing processes or detaining supplies, suppliers' declaration. Or second option, uh, you can gather sufficient material from your suppliers to demonstrate that the imported product is truly originating from Japan. In this case, this um, liability for duty will fall on you, the importer. So this, in this um, uh, agreement between Japan and the EU implies a strong cooperation between the exporter and, its client, and his client. To talk about figures on the next slide, you've probably heard that four uh, months ago, uh, a joint committee, which was co-chaired by the executive vice president of the European Union and the Japanese minister of foreign affairs took place. And um, to be frank, there was also a second um, committee online in April, which followed the one I'm mentioning. And, uh, <clears throat> During this committees, they um, reviewed the level of uh, activity from the last three years on the EU and on a Japan scale. Uh, so just to give you all insights of uh, what your products um, are becoming once in, in Europe, uh, I'd like to focus on French figures and main items imported in France since the agreement has been running. So as you can see on the chart here, um, since the beginning of the agreement, around 120,000 import declaration claiming origin benefits have been lodged in France. And the top 10 imported items for which preferential origin has been claimed are mostly mechanical and uh, electronic devices. Here you can see in, on the first place in the chart, vehicle parts followed by ball bearings, Tem mm, screws and bolts, rubber items, electrical equipment, transmission shafts, plastic crafts, centrifuges, temperature controllers, and air pumps. So basically all electronical and mechanical devices. <clears throat> and there's still a, a wide opening for, let's say, uh, agricultural products knowing especially that more than um, 80 Japanese geographical indication have been protected and enhanced by the agreement. Please do not hesitate to send them with an original um, preferential treatment. Um, uh, about our services, French Customs Administration gives free advice on customs matters. Uh, there are more than 40 regional customs information centers that can be reached by operators in France. And there's a, a specific department um, on the next slide, please. Thank you very much. Um, and there's also a specific department for large uh, accounts, uh, which provides high quality service. So please uh, do not hesitate to contact me. Let's say that I'm one of those uh, 40 regional centers at the address mentioned uh, below, or uh, don't hesitate to spend time on our official website. There's information uh, in English available. Thank you a lot for your attention. And uh, if you have any question, please uh, send it uh, from the chat. Thank you very much, Ms. Tatiana. So next, I will talk about business France activities and the attractiveness of France and the main Japanese investments in France. Thank you. So first, let me talk about business France. 
Business France is a government agency that promotes the globalization of the French economy and operates in Japan as a division of a part of the French embassy. There are two divisions, Invest in France Department and Trade Investment Department. The former supports foreign companies in their investment projects in France, and the latter supports the overseas ex expansion of small and medium-sized French companies. Business France is also a partner of Jetro, with them supporting us today in the seminar as well. Next, let me talk about the specifics of our department. First, with individual companies, uh, we meet with them, so, so understand we'll their project needs, and then provide a variety of example. We provide information on investment landscape in France. The tax, labor, and visa systems differ significantly between Japan and France, but we are able to handle each case through specialists back in France, in addition to referring outside specialists. As the project progresses, we also arrange site visits and set up appointments with the relevant authorities. In addition, we also help our clients find partners for capital investment and joint R&D with French startup companies, which are increasing in recent years. We also conduct regular follow-up with companies that have already established operations in France. These services are provided in principle free of charge and with a strict confidentiality, but we are mainly intended to support projects that are based on the premise of direct entry into France and European countries. Please note that we do not cover customer searches or marketing. One of the characteristics of our agency is the close connection with the regional economic development agencies belonging to the 13 regions of France, including Normandy, where the port of Haropa, the subject of the seminar, is located. Each development agency is versed with industry and ecosystems of its region, so it can gather detailed and most current information. Therefore, companies can use our network to expand their project possibilities beyond Paris. Next page, please. Next, let me briefly introduce the logistics advantages of France, which is the topic of today's seminar. France is located at the heart of the European market. It accounts for 22% of the world's GDP. Most companies with manufacturing and logistics spaces in France are also looking to export from France to other companies from the very start. France is ideally located as a gateway for re-exports to Europe, the Middle East, and the dynamic growing region of Africa. 5.3% of French exports for Africa and Francophone African companies. According to the Doing Business report by the World Bank, France maintains number one position in terms of cross-border trade efficiency ahead of UK and Germany. And also France is suitable country for logistic projects thanks to the quality of its infrastructure. It far exceeds Germany and Poland. France accounts for 20% of all logistics projects in Europe when looking to airport, Charles de Gaulle Airport is number one in Europe for cargo transport and number two in passenger transport. Le Bourge Airport, famous for Paris air shows, is Europe's leading business airport. Paris is accessible from major European cities in around two hours. France has the second largest speed rail network in Europe. The high-speed TJV, which boasts a speed of 3,000 kilometers per hour and maximum speed of 574.8 kilometers per hour, connects Paris to the region of major French cities of Marseille in three hours and 10 minutes. And Paris to Lyon in one hour and 57. And the Eurostar connects Paris and London, while TALIS high-speed train connects France, Belgium, and Netherlands, and Germany, Alstom and NSF, SNCF are jointly developing fifth generation TGV, which are run autonomous trains in France by 2025. In terms of maritime and land transport, two French ports rank within the top 10 in Europe. Marseille, the largest port in tonnage in the Mediterranean, and Le Havre, the most important port in the Atlantic coast. France, with the largest road network in continental Europe, comes seventh in the world in terms of quality of its road infrastructure. The bottom 
right map shows the major ports, eight of them, and their motorway. Next, let me introduce the presence of Japanese companies in France. More than 617 companies have been established in France by Japanese firms, providing employment for around 100,000 people. Last year, 39 projects by Japanese companies in France took place. France was the number one destination for Japanese investment in Europe in terms of job creation, surpassing UK and Germany. By function, the largest number of investments projects are for manufacturing and by in industry, machinery and equipment comes first and then followed by food industry. Next. Many Japanese companies have established operations in France, including in the logistics sector and manufacturing with the logistics sites in France. This is just a few examples. As a reference, let me share the EUR report on the attractiveness of France as an investment destination in Europe announced June 1st. France exceeds UK and Germany as the most attractive investment destination in Europe for three years in a row. France also ranks first in Europe in terms of production projects. This proves France's important role in the manufacturing industry where the supply chain is being reconfigured. In addition, last October, President Macron announced an investment plan for 2030. The aim is to strengthen the industrial sectors that are set to leap forward in the coming years, attracting international investors to France and contributing to the country's attractiveness. Next slide, please. Lastly, let me talk about Business France Japan office. Investment division consists of four members. The team leader is Luc Barbina. In East Japan, Suzuki is in charge of clean tech. And also in East Japan, IT food service is being supported by Fujino sitting in Tokyo. I sit in Nagoya and I'm in charge of West Japan companies. The Paris headquarters has a Japan desk, which is in charge of follow-up services for companies operating in France. We also offer online meetings, so please feel free to contact us. Thank you for your attention. Now, we'd like to move on to a regional support for the setting up of development of a logistics hub in Normandy. This presentation by Mr. Guillaume uh, Tirard. Uh, Mr. Guillaume, please. Yes. Good, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is uh, Guillaume Tirad from Adé Normandie. Please, first slide. What is Adé Normandie? Adé Normandie is the Regional Economic Development Agency of Normandy. This agency works under the authority of the Regional Council of Normandy, the political and administrative authority of the Normandy region. Normandy is the territory where Europa is located. With Business France, with Europa Port, we work as a team to facilitate your investments and business development in France. Together, we provide services at every stage of your investment project to simplify it. All these services are gathered in a welcome package, as you can see on the slide, and are free of charge because they are financed by the Regional Council. The Adair Normandy Agency is also the one-stop regional office to identify financial aid solution for your project. Please, next slide. So why Normandy is a location to consider and to invest in? Normandy is the leading logistics hub in France. Indeed, Normandy is located along the channel, the first maritime corridor in the world. Normandy is also linked to Paris by the Seine River, a navigable river equipped with very modern multimodal ports, Le Havre, Rouen, Paris, which call it Haropa Ports. With Haropa Ports on Normandy, so you have a direct access to the heart of the French consumer market, more than 34% of the French GDP. Therefore, Normandy is considered by investors as an industrial platform to for imported or exported goods. And the largest companies in the world are already located in Normandy. The latest major investment this year is 
Eastman Chemical, which has chosen Normandy for its new chemical platform. Uh, the investment amount is around 1 billion USD. This is an example of Normandy attractiveness for industrial and logistical project. Next slide. Normandy uh, choose uh, investors so, in choose Normandy because of its economically competitiveness compared to the other European countries. So why low prices? Before Brexit, before the COVID-19, logistics and industrial investment were primarily directed towards Northern Europe and Great Britain. But today, everything has changed. With the post-Brexit deal, with the environmental need to invest as close as possible to key markets such as France or Paris, with the carbon impact in terms of logistics, in terms of production, logistics routes are being reorganized to the benefit of Normandy, which thus become an opportunity and a strategic regional territory, strategic territory to consider when you want to enter in the French market and export in Europe. That's why we are seeing a very large increase in investment in regions year after year, more than 20% year after year, more project of foreign investment project in Normandy. Next slide, please. We really think it is the right time now to invest in Normandy. Labor costs are still very competitive, as the data on this slide shows. Normandy is a region where the logistics sector's shares of salary and employment is the highest of all French region. And in the Seine Valley corridor, the logistics sectors on prime more than 5,000 people who are very well trained, very well professional to under logistical project. So you will find in Normandy the important you need for your project. Next slide, please. Moreover, ADE Normandy, the agency I work for, will help you to recruit your French team at each step of recruitment. This is a very important point to succeed in your investment project in France. People are key to running a company and we will help you to find the right people for your investment in Normandy. Next slide, please. That's why with all those advantages, the largest international companies have already chosen Europa. Normandy and the Seine Valley Corridor to invest for logistics or industrial projects. For example, uh, for Japan, the international leader in logistics, Nichirai, a reference in the logistics sector, operates in Normandy, but also Toshiba, also Toyota, uh, uh, Ajimoto. Uh, we have a very, very important uh, Japanese company already running operation in Normandy. Next slide, please. In order to invest in France and in Normandy, there are many possibilities of land available to you, and we can bring you a quick answer to your land search, to your greenfields uh, search, because we know very well what territory. Harapa Port has a wide range of land offers, including turnkey plots of lands that guaranteed you as an investor rapid implementation of your project. Next slide, please. In this slide, you have an example of a land very well located on the Europa port vicinities. In Le Havre, it has many advantages for an industrialist or logistician. It's really located close to the port. And as you can see, he has many, many advantages in terms of services, utilities, also a road network for logistics implementation. Next slide, please. In this slide, you see an example location and another example located in Rouen. Um, as we know the land perfectly, we have a bell to answer all your questions concerning building permits, authorizations, water, electricity networks, and other services you will need to succeed in your investment in terms of uh, uh, logistics or uh, industry there. This is a great advantage for your success in your investment project. We know how to handle it. We know the territory and you will, are able to find the right answer of your needs. So thank you for your attention and welcome to Normandy.
ヨムスさんありがとうございました。応答に参ります。First, we've got some questions in advance from the participants, so we'd like to introduce them to you and have the panelists answer. Question number one. The Haropa organizes and manages several port terminals. So I'm interested in what the roles and responsibilities between each port are. From Haropa port, can we have Mr. Sebastian answer this question, please? Yes, um, to keep it simple, maybe a, a simple uh, answer. Um, as Port Authority, we set up the land and we ensure that all the activities run smoothly. Uh, the vessel accommodation, uh, the truck appointment, for example, on maritime terminal, the rail transport. So we, we ensure that activities run smoothly. But um, after that, uh, all maritime terminals are totally private. Steve Dorr's company rent the land to the Port Authority and uh, we do not deal as Port Authority, that's not our job, we do not deal uh, with uh, free storage, for example, or transport uh, uh, transport price, for example. So we, we make the land available and after that, private company come uh, in the Port Authority, develop their own services and you negotiate directly with a maritime company, with a steel doors company, with transport company. I wish I had answered to the question. Thank you very much. Question number two. The Haropa port, what kind of service does it offer in terms of safety and security? What kind of advantage does it have over other ports? Here again, can we have Sebastian answer this question? Yes, uh, we, we put in place this uh, specific policy and specific services uh, in answer to, to in order to answer to the to our customers uh, expectations and specs, and especially in the luxury uh, sector. Um, today, you uh, you can find three main uh, services in uh, with Aropa Port and especially in uh, Le Havre Port, which is certified for its safety security policy. Uh, the first one is that we monitor the port hurry 24 hours a day, seven days a week with specific patrols. So we monitor the land, as I said before, the, 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 the maritime terminal, the road, and you can also, if you have some facilities uh, inside the portery, you can uh, have a specific subscription with the port authority and we monitor your facilities, your warehouse, uh, 24 hours a day and seven days a week. Uh, the second uh, second thing that we we, we do uh, in our part is that we for Le Havre port we have divided the portery in in uh, uh, 17 specific areas and um, in these areas when we identify something unusual or something wrong we we are we have the possibility to close the array and to, and to control all the vehicles and all the people uh, until we decide to that there is no no problem or no so all is good and we do that with uh, the, the support of the national police so this is the second thing you can find in the port array and sometimes it uh, uh, it avoids some uh, problem of uh, robbery, of problem with the container, of, uh, uh, of theft with the container. And uh, the last thing you can find with us, uh, and I think it's a real asset compared to other ports like Antwerp, like Rotterdam, is that you can contact us when you have very sensitive goods, uh, sensitive container, and luxury uh, industry is doing that. You can contact us and we, we can ex escort your container inside the portery and until the maritime terminal. It's totally free of charge for you when you have one request. But if it's a regular request, you, you, you may a, a short, uh, a little fee, but we can escort the sensitive container uh, inside the portery from the entry of the port uh, until the maritime terminal. I think there are three um, 
these three examples are the, the, the main examples of our policy, uh, um, our security policy, and they are real assets compared to other parts in Europe. Uh, as I said before, zero risk doesn't exist, but we have very, very low uh, uh, low rate of uh, of uh, of problem uh, of security inside the Europa port. Thank you very much. Third question: What does Haropa do with regard to agribusiness? Are there any service providers that handle these logistics? Here again, Sebastian, please. Uh, yes, um, uh, concerning uh, regarding uh, agribusiness uh, in Europa, uh, to, to give you some figures. Uh, uh, in uh, 2099, uh, before COVID crisis, uh, the traffic of agribusiness uh, on Europa port was uh, about uh, 570,000 TUs, 22% um, for wine and spirits product, 12% uh, for convenience foods, and 11% uh, for, uh, for both diary product and cereals. Uh, this is main figures. And um, inside this, uh, this this global traffic, uh, half of this traffic is uh, with reefer uh, container is is with reefer, uh, and uh, seventy percent from export uh, from Le Havre. Um, in terms of um, of logistic provider, you you have some dedicated equipment uh, inside the uh, Europa such as reefer on each maritime terminal. Uh, this is what you can find and this is for you uh, a way to have a complete transport and uh, to secure uh, all the transport by, uh, by refer. Uh, you have also um, a wide range of logistic providers. Uh, you have 50 specialized freight forwarders uh, and uh, leading logistic companies such as uh, Bolloré, Cifrigo, Capgel, uh, RDT, but also you have some Japanese companies like uh, Godfrey Michele, uh, which is uh, which are, uh, set up some facilities inside the port area, and that can provide it for you some services to 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 store your your goods and to uh, to transport your your goods. And one point to highlight in terms of service is that uh, maybe Aruba Port is the only port in Europe uh, where you can find the EU entry port and custom on the same point on the same place. For you, it's one stop shop, uh, and uh, you have simplified custom clearance procedure for products uh, subject to veterinary control. For you, it's a cheaper solution and more convenient so solution. Uh, so um, you, you you have a lot of logistic provider, and 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 furthermore, you uh, if you want, if you are interested by that, you have also a Japanese ecosystem of logistic provider. Uh, if we look, you have. Uh, uh, the carrier one, you have Michele, you have uh, uh, Nippon Express that can transport your container, uh, NNR, you have a lot of companies, Japanese companies that can offer you services in this specific sector. But if you have some additional question, we can answer, don't hesitate to contact me, and you can find you a, a specific solution. Thank you very much. The next question. We are a manufacturing company and considering a new project, what kind of support can we receive in the Normandy region? Guillaume from Ade Normandy, can you answer this question, please? Yes, thank you. In fact, we are already supporting several Japanese companies in Normandy. Uh, Adi Normandy with the Normandy region helps industrial and logisticians to invest uh, with a special investment program called Welcome Package. Welcome Package is uh, an all-inclusive services program, and I will explain quickly that what are the advantages. First, you will have a single point to contact to deal with all the project issues in terms of administrative uh, building permits, legal, real estate, HR, one man to contact. 
so it's easier. Second, we will provide all the data to evaluate and build your project. And that's very important. You need data to assess the opportunity of your investment. You need data to build the right investment. And you need data to construct, to build your uh, financial uh, investment. S third, we have a special aid program for foreign investment called Impulsion Invest, Invest Impulsion. And we work with the French state government to find the best financial support with all the existing ads in, uh, in France and in Europe. So we build you a special financial package. We do that for you. So it's easier, you win time. And at last, uh, not last, we follow the project from the beginning to the end but even after when your investment is already done and you are running a facilities, a logistic uh, or a, uh, a factory, we will have able to help you to reinvest uh, through special in investment and financial incentive. Those uh, financial incentives are in, uh, in terms of uh, zero rate loans or grants. It depends on the amount of investment or also of the quality of uh, investment. Thank you very much. Very last question. It's regarding the tax. How can I check the correct tariff definition of a product when declaring? Tatian, can you answer this question, please? Uh, sure. <clears throat> I guess you're talking about the HS code, um, the 10 figures code. Um, if you want to ensure it, um, make, to be sure that you have a correct European HS code, uh, please remember that the six first figures are referring to a standardized code from the World Custom Organization. So it will be common to approximately 200 countries. So you cannot miss the six uh, first figures. The next two figures are meant to establish customs fees and statistics at the European Union level. And the last two figures are used to establish commercial policy, um, such as anti-dumping duties. So with this um, 10 figures code, you'll be able to determine the um, duties and taxes upon uh, imports. And um, to check it, you have three possibilities, I guess. First operators in France can check a dedicated tool called RITA, which is designed by the French Custom Administration and which is available online on our website. So uh, it's a free tool. You can, um, uh, from um, a remote country, for example, you can refer to a European open database called uh, EBTI, where you can find all the binding information on tariff issued by European Customs Administration. And uh, there's also a very useful tool called Access to Markets. That's uh, also a European tool um, available um, online as well. Um, the address will be www.access2. Uh, you just write the figures, you don't spell it. Um, access to markets, plural.com. And you'll be able to, um, to simulate the, the taxes um, when uh, the product is imported in France, for example. Great. Thank you very much. So these are all the questions which were asked in advance, and we still have a little bit of remaining time. If you have any further questions, then please let us know. Please raise your hand uh, using a quick or button, and please turn on your microphone to make sure that your voice is heard. And please also let us know in advance uh, who you are asking questions for. Do you have any questions? Right. Anybody who want to ask a question? OK. This is it for the Q&A session. If there are any questions or any comments, then please let us know later on to our office. It's time to close the session. Thank you very much for your attendance. 
And when you exit uh, the seminar, then a questionnaire will pop up. So please uh, fill the form. Thank you very much uh, for attendance uh, up until uh, the very uh, last of the presentation.